Well, the first content update of the 10th season of Fortnite just dropped today and considering the Western skin set that is available in the store and the Rift Beacon and Neo Tilted was activated yesterday, it was obvious that we were going to get the old timey version of Tilted. But what else does this update bring? Unfortunately for pretty much everybody that plays the game, there have been no adjustments made to the Brute Vehicle that has been more lambasted than Orange Cheeto Jesus idiotically blaming violent video games for mass shootings. I guess Epic really wants to rub it in our faces that they put mechs in their Battle Royale game before respawn did with apex legends and titanfall anyways this update does make use of the rift zones concept to transform neo tilted but also head scratchingly not back into tilted towers which is heavily favored over that current futuristic version but instead the tilted town an old western version that seems ripped straight from overwatch's first payload point in hollywood this new name location has a special set of rules you cannot build nor harvest in the area whatsoever which is absolutely mind-boggling asinine considering that aspect of the game is what separates it from other ho-hum battle royale offerings that lay in its waist i guess epic is trying anything to quell the complaints of too many sweats by taking away their construction skill level i'll try my best to avoid this new area but i'm assuming that there will be challenges that require you to wade into the non-building zone and more on that later the one bright spot in this new old-fashioned area is that there have been several items unvaulted but they will only spawn in the building free zone and of course they fit in the theme with the double barrel shotgun hunting rifle common infantry rifle as if people even wanted the higher level variants of the semi-awful i mean semi-auto rifle in the first place and the revolver pallet swap six shooter so in other words shit that you'll continue to ignore if they pop out of a chest but that's not all with new weapons in this patch and the previously leaked automatic sniper rifle is now available in rare epic and legendary variants that somehow uses medium ammo with a faster bullet velocity than other sniper rifles with a 31 33 35 damage damage model and a two times headshot multiplier shooting four rounds per second with 16 rounds per magazine and that reduced scope that was formerly on the now vaulted semi-auto sniper the one positive thing about this update is the introduction of a new limited time game mode that has been leaked in the past that's similar to gun game in call of duty or gun master in battlefield called arsenal solo starting with the higher rarity items and working your way down to shittier versions being quote rewarded with a new weapon upon eliminations which might be good for getting that black x victory on umbrella that is the worst reward for a victory royale that includes the rainbow one from season two the remaining brute squad missions have also been leaked and for later on today you'll need to search seven chests at the better as retro dusty depot or pleasant park if you're struggling to smash those stop signs from the road trip missions and for tomorrow it'll visit snobby shores and shifty shafts in the same match but they're both at least on the western part of the map if you completed three of the seven missions you'll get rewarded with this loading screen here which contains the coordinates for a hidden battle star that can be found west of the umbrella mine southeast of the block as you can see on the mini map shown on screen here once all seven missions have been completed there is a second hidden battle star for this mission located at the other rock mine which is the fork knife located northwest of fatal fields but as of now it's unclear exactly where it is within those utensil play on homophones for the name of the game the next week of free missions which will probably go live on thursday has also been leaked and with the name like shootout at sundown it's obvious where the inspiration comes from given the new tilted town location the tasks are as follows finishing top 10 in two different solo or duos matches two eliminations with a pistol which is the only time you should ever use that weapon category searching seven ammo boxes at tilted or junk junction because you can't do much else in the former location dealing 200 damage to descending supply drops which you should do anyways if you're underneath the mark spot picking up an item of each rarity so you'll have to hold on to those supercalifragilistic xpl atrocious items a little bit longer landing at tilted or fatal fields in three different games which i can't even believe i'm going to advocate for the latter and dealing 500 damage with assault rifles to opponents which you should be doing anyways unless you're playing the fucking game wrong for those that do have access to their parents credit card the next set of premium battle pass missions named spray and pray that will also go live on thursday have been leaked as well the items on the honeydew style checklist for this graffiti and hold down the trigger theme mission are as follows dealing 500 damage with smgs to opponents using a spray on the emote wheel for a fountain which is the one at the mega mall a junkyard crane fittingly enough in junk junction and vending machine which have set locations around the map like near the gas station at salty springs speaking of which another task is to spray three different gas stations of which there are eight in total found on the map shown on the screen here then completing one of those prior tasks unlocks a finding five lost spray paint cans for those that were caught in the act of vandalizing or beautifying depending upon your artistic taste but as of this recording nine have been found around the map and they are west of pressure plant in the lava tunnel by the umbrella rock that you can get along 
along with the Brute Secret Battle Star in the junkyard southeast of Paradise Palms, over at the bottom of the waterfall south of the Viking Village, by the houses west of Shifty Shafts, at the Broken Down Mansion south of Lonely Lodge, north of Fatal Fields at the end of one of the streams, outside the Disco Hall northeast of Happy Hamlet, and finally in the northern part of Junk Junction, so look for some wall art for hints of their locations. Complete two of those to unlock dealing 3,000 damage, two structures with a minigun because we all love build killers, right? That is what Epic is trying to do with this season after all, isn't it? Complete three to unlock eliminating opponents with SMGs from less than 15 meters away, which is the range you should always use for those weapons unless you're a dumb shit. And finally, complete four to unlock searching seven chests at Tilted because of course Epic is going to force you to go to the new place they just made even though it's an awful idea. The prestige tasks are available once completing all seven of those missions and they will be two eliminations with an SMG in a single match. It's easy in Team Rumble unless you're terror bad. Searching five chests inside containers with windows which refers to the spray paint tag on them which can be found in pairs. Two near the pressure plant lava river, two near the biggest throwback thus far at Dusty Depot and Factory, and two near the Disco Hall Factory area northeast of Happy Hamlet, and the hashtag forever alone one by the junk yard southeast of paradise bombs and finally spraying six cars or trucks at different name locations of which 13 of those name locations have at least one of those vehicles for you to vandalize complete one of the previous to unlock visiting two graffiti covered billboards in a single match of which thankfully they are close to one another with one in shifty shafts and the other southwest of salty springs complete two to unlock damaging opponents for 500 hit points with a minigun which at least isn't going after structures this time complete three to unlock five eliminations with an smg less than five meters away as a big middle finger to shotgun users and finally completing four checklist items to unlock eliminating five opponents in tilted with the tilted technique outfit unlock the tier 23 of the battle pass lastly with leak challenges are the confirmations of some other former points of interest that are blasts from the past that will return at some point this season with the whole rift zone excuse to recycle assets for employees that had yet to be crunched into a stress casualty they include the already hinted at in last week's video moisty meyer the worst place to fight besides the og loot lake anarchy acres which is the worst point of interest for that northern central area because it was just a fucking field compared to a golf course or a pirate cove risky reels that already has a makeshift screen and chairs with the sign at the location greasy grove that finally might thaw out leaving the only interesting place in the winter biome the frozen lake to be gone along with it tomato town before it got all culty and shit and flush factory before the pipes burst and froze over in the area between frosty flights and happy hamlet it'll be cool to see places that haven't been in the game for over a year that people like me that actually played the game back when it wasn't the phenomenon that it is now because believe it or not it was actually worse than other battle royale offerings at the time but it's fucking august epic time to get rid of the snowy biome because it's just full of shitty locations anyways what do you think about the content update that does nothing to the mechs and adds in the worst location in the history of fortnite i've been the schwanz 27 over like people's new york times subscription until next time